Today we're going to show you how to machine this on all six sides with only two setups. If I gave this piece of steel to the average machinist and I said I want you to hold this size this way, this way, and this way within say 20 thousandths, 25 thousandths, just enough to leave enough grind stock on there. Now it's not a critical dimension if you're going to be grinding it and finish grinding it anyway. So, but if I gave this to the average guy, you know what he would do? He'd have six setups. He'd do this one, flip it over, do this one, then he'd do this one, then he'd do this one, then he'd do that one, then he'd do this one. How about if we show you how to do the same thing instead of six setups, we can do it in two. So let's go up back. I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. All right, back at the bridge port, our one, two, three block. We're going to try to leave between 15 and 30 thousandths total stock on each side. So I'm double checking it here to see what kind of stock we've got to deal with. And I mark it on there. You don't really have to do that, but I did. Anyway, so we're going to take our stone, make sure we don't have any birds in there. Remember, we're trying to get this within a few thousand, so it's not really critical. If we were trying to get it a little closer than that, we probably would take a little more care. But for what we're doing here to provide grind stock, this is all we need to do. So we stoned off the uh, parallels and and the vise. Here, in case you have an irregular surface and you want to grip it, you can use a wire tie like this, or a piece of copper wire or aluminum wire, or, which I really like this, somebody gave me this set of balls which that have a flat on it, so you can drop that in and that'll take out kind of the irregularity that you may have when you're trying to grip it. So here we're biting it down and make sure that we've got it good and solid and down all the way. So we checked it with the parallels and it's, it looks fine. We're going to set our speed to what we think is going to be appropriate for this type of a cut. And I, like, I always like this, uh, this bridge port adapter uh, that you can put up, slide up and down very quickly without cranking it. Somebody came up with that idea a lot of years ago. So we're going to take a cut on the top just to clean it up. Kind of looks like a CNC machine, but it's not. That's just me doing it manually. And then we're going to come down and move our cutter down and probably take off one edge. Now remember, we're, we're going to come down about three quarters of the way on our block, being careful not to device, of course. And we're finishing up the two inch side, correction the three inch side. And we're going to go over here now and clean up the two inch dimension. And remember, all we want to do is clean this up. We can take all the, the majority of the stock off the other side once we just have one side cleaned up. And then we'll drop it down and we'll go in. And, and the cutter looks like it's going backwards, but it's not. It's just an optical illusion. So we took a cut there. And remember, on, the, on that side, we've got it fed down all the way. So we're cleaning up the entire side. It's not going backwards, folks. So we're cleaning that up. And we'll come in and check it and see what the size is, uh, which I did, and I felt we had to take a little more stock off. So we're taking another cut, and that should take care of it, I believe. And now we're going to come over and going to clean up the two-inch side. So we've got a little more stock to take off. It's kind of cool the way it, uh, the way it cuts. Remember, the finish isn't perfect, but it doesn't have to be because we're going to be grinding it, so it's okay. You know, if, if this were a finished product, we, again, we take a little more care. But for the intended purpose, which is to provide some stock for grinding, I'm fine with a finish. Here we are. There's 30 thousands there. So we'll blue it up all over. And the whole idea here is to come in and have the cutter remove the stock that's, uh, that's not finished, or not to finish size, like right here. But we want to be able to come in and just touch the bluing if we can. And I think we, we fed it in just a few thousands here. And you can see we're starting to take the bluing off. Now it's probably just a bit more than I'd like. That's probably taken off about a thousandths more, maybe two thousandths at the most, uh, more than we did on the first side. But that's okay. Again, remember, this is, uh, this is just grind stock that we're leaving on here, so it's okay. This side it did a little better. You can see what we call our witness mark there. So that we probably have 
I would say within a half a thousandth of the size of the original size. So here we're gonna make some adjustments and come in and finish off the top side. All right, so I'm checking it here. Looks like we need to feed up about 50 or 60,000, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. And uh, I like to use a table rather than a spindle. And here we're gonna adjust the speed. We're gonna decrease it a little bit because we're taking a bit of a heavier cut. Again, it looks like it's going backwards, folks, but it's not. It's going the right direction. It's an optical illusion that we get due to the camera. So, again, it kind of looks like a CNC, doesn't it? Nice, good-looking chip. You know, and I could feed it in a little faster and make a blue chip if we needed to, but I chose not to do it at this point. And take our last cut there. Kind of cool. I see the chip's a little bit golden there. Double check our size. And we got 48 thousandths there. And we're going to adjust our speed again accordingly. Feed it up just a little bit because we need to take off a few more thousands, probably around 15 thousands total. And that'll give us our finish cut. And again, we sped it up just a bit. So there we go. And you know, you could travel each way. You don't have to go all the way right to left and left to right or you could do it a number of different ways. It doesn't make any difference as long as you get it done and it looks good. So there we go. You see the trail there. Uh, again, it doesn't matter that much because we're going to be grinding it. There we go. We got 30 thousands there. All right. So here we are coming in on this last dimension. I'm going to feed that in a bit. I always like to put the dials back to zero so I know exactly what I'm doing. And there, well, it looks like we've got a few more thousands to take off so I fed in a little bit and here you see we've got a bit of a witness mark there coming up and I, I, I kind of like that if we took any stock off that we shouldn't have it isn't very much it might be a thousands or two but that's it and you kind of see that the bluing is still there so yeah we really didn't take anything off maybe a thousands at the most so that's it so let's go back up front so after I machined it I decided to take it over the belt sander, just touch it up on all six faces, show you the witness mark from one side to the other when we did one edge versus the other edge, and I also broke the edges all the way around. So to double check it for size, remember the idea is to leave about 20 to 30 thousandths total stock on, uh, on both sides. So here we have 28 thousandths of stock from our one inch, 26 thousandths, 24 thousandths, 24,000, so it's within a couple thousandths on that dimension. On this one, we've got 27 thousandths there. Flip it around. 28 thousandths, 27 thousandths there. 27, 28, right in that same range. And on the one inch side, oh, we already did that side, so we're going to do the, the three inch side. Three inch side, we've got about 33 thousandths there. And 36, 37 thousandths there. I think that's pretty good. So the idea here is that you can uh, machine something within a few thousandths by bluing like we did on the outside there and coming in and touching one side full length, this side, and go all the way around the other three sides. So there we've done five sides. Flip it over, do the six side, and merely touch up the other sides to bring them in to size. That's all there is to it. Pretty easy to do. Well, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, leave them down below. We'll be glad to respond to them. Check us out on our media pages. Social media, that is, would be Twitter, Facebook, etc. And again, thanks for watching. Looking forward to your comments. Mm -hmm.